shit, my headphones aren't plugged in. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Shovel Knight. Um, if you are in my Discord channel, you are probably expecting this. Um, if not, well, you know, here's a nice little surprise for you. So, I just made this new file. Um, the reason why I decided to play this is because Shovel Knight got announced for Rivals of Aether and is coming out this month. It may even be up by the time I post this video. I am not sure. Um... All bullshit aside, I love this fucking game. I've always loved this fucking game. I will always love this fucking game. So, yeah, let's get into it. Long ago, the lands were untamed and roamed by legendary adventurers. Of all heroes, None shone brighter than Shovel Knight and Shield Knight. But their travels together ended at the Tower of Fate, where a cursed amulet wrought a terrible magic. When Shovel Knight awoke, the tower was sealed, and Shield Knight was gone. His spirit broken. A grieving Shovel Knight went into a life of solitude. But without champions, the land was seized by a vile power, the Enchantress and her Order of No Quarter. Now, the tower is unsealed, and devastation looms. A new adventure is about to begin. Get digging! Okay, one second. I need to hang my coat up because my cats are gonna fucking rip it up if I don't. <laughs> and... Who am I kidding? My cats are gonna rip it up anyway, they're assholes. Um... Okay. Let's go. I haven't played this in a while, so it'll be a nice touch. So this is, uh, I don't know, the planes, I guess? Bear in mind, I just bought this controller, so if it seems like my movement is a little funky, it's because I'm still trying to get used to it. So you got this, which is the shovel drop. This is the most iconic move. It's gonna be his down air and rivals. Then you got this, which is like his jab, I guess. A little jab. You could dig with it. I guess it's also, uh, I guess this one specifically, like the air one is like his neutral air, but uh, on the ground it's like his down tilt or something. I don't know. But you can pop bubbles and stuff to move faster and there's little secrets everywhere. And also a cool thing about this game is you can break the checkpoints. Now you can't do that in this level because it's the tutorial. But you can do it in every level after that. So guess what time it is? Air horns, please. Oh, challenge run. So, um, yeah. This dragon guy is really easy. I don't have to fight him, but I will. Because he drops a lot of money. It's funny. I've only played through this game twice. I'm really good at it, though, I feel like. And I think part of that's just because I'm good at, like, Mega Man. So... I feel like, and uh, I know a lot of people are going to be like, oh, no, 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 it's not, it's not a Mega Man game. But 
Shovel Knight is 100% a fucking Mega Man game. Like, spiritually. There's a little secret thing going on over here. A bunch of money. Those uh, music notes are worth 500, so I definitely want to get those. Also, it's a, uh, you know, Spike's one hit kill, so it's not really something you want to fuck with. We shouldn't be seeing any frame drops either. I don't think so. Ooh, the breeze is really nice right now. actually faster to break these from the side so instead of wall chicken we have uh, actual chicken just on a plate or turkey or whatever it is But uh, yeah, so we're gonna go over here because there's another one of those. I feel like I'm not commentating enough. I don't know what to talk about though. Other than Shovel Knight and Rivals, so. But, uh, yeah, there's. Oh, hurry, I forgot. Oh, hi. Oh, hey, there's a carrot there. Cool. Also, I'd like to point out that was the first time I got hit. I thought I got hit way before that. But, yeah. Also, this little thing is actually his crouch in Rivals, is actually just this. Oh man. Fucking sleepy dragon. Alright, I don't want to kill him when he's there. I want to kill him when he's backed up. This way, dude. Come on, what are you doing? I don't want to spawn your fucking money into the pit. Damn it. At least I can get some of it. So, uh, Friends Without Benefits also recently made a Shovel Knight playthrough. For the same reason. wonder if you uh, because I know see every character in Rivals has a gimmick and Shovel Knight's gimmick is that he can open shop with his taunt right so he can open up the shop and buy items from Chester um which is a guy that we haven't seen yet so but Chester is a guy that appears in a blue chest every level except for this one and gives you an item, so, uh, it was convenient that that landed there. You're gonna see me, uh, slashing in the air a lot after I do this, and that's because, uh, <coughs> okay, here's
there's our rival guy. And that's because if you uh, reset the uh, the down air, it doesn't actually do anything. I knew you'd show your face sooner or later. The Cerulean Coward. Turn back, Shovel Knight. There's nothing here for you anymore. Stand aside, Black Knight. I've no quarrel with you. I must return to the Tower of Fate. Your time away has dulled your senses. Can't you see? Also, that's the Tower of Fate in the background, in case anyone was wondering. This entire valley has been conquered by the Enchantress. And her invincible knights of the Order of No Quarter stand between you and the tower. But none of that matters, because anyone after the Enchantress has to go through me. Steal thy shovel. Sorry if my voice acting is cringy. I'm not good at it. So this guy is like, uh, we have to fight him a few times throughout the game, and he's usually pretty annoying. Also, he can Hadouken, but he likes to run a lot. If you can get the drop on him, though, uh, it's pretty easy. You don't ever want to attack him from the side, though, because he will just, I mean, unless you're behind him. Uh, 5k? Damn, I didn't get 5k. That's okay. Yeah, boy, you better run. Alright, here we get this little cinematic, I guess. Shovel Knight goes to sleep. And then we go up into the stars. Also, notice how the boss meter is, like, way bigger now. Bitch. <gasps> no! Okay, I caught her. <laughs> I thought I wasn't going to get her. Also, only you can prevent wildfires. You actually get an achievement for that, but I've already got it, so. Do, 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 do. Oh, haha, ha, that's not a weapon, it's just a shovel. You can come in. So this is kind of Zelda 2 ish town. Uh, this guy's a bard, and if we give him music sheets, then he gives us money. And then we can buy a meal ticket from this guy and get health upgrades. And that's why I wanted 5k, so I could get both of those. <coughs> And he's gonna cook us some skids. But a uh, frog leg? And uh, some ribs. Nice. So, uh, this thing. I don't even know. It's a witch? I guess. Grandma Swamp. Uh, dig piles. Gold I've collected. I haven't died yet, and I've played for a certain amount of fact. Thank you for helping me, kindly witch. I'm not a witch! Okay. And then this guy is the, um, deposed king of Pride Moor. And, uh, we're gonna be going there soon, but not in this episode. Because I do Lichyard first, because being able to phase lock it past the griffins in Pride Moor is really fun. Mona. Oh, hey! You have a specific character color name. Wonder if you're important at all. I suppose peaceful solitude is too much to ask for. Well, as long as I'm stranded here, should we pass the time with a little game? I'll just need a hundred gold first. All right, I'll conjure up some things and hit them towards the targets for points. Okay. This is not a fun mini game. I don't often do it, but. Uh, my timing on these is very bad.
do do do. I've never gotten a score over 200 by myself. But she gives you that, so that's why I wanted to do it. I'm not going to go completionist, but it is helpful to get that music sheet here. Because there's another one over here. I can get, and then if I take those to the bard guy. I, actually, before I go to the bard guy, I think there's one more over here. That guy gets really happy when you push that. Hey, milkmaid lady, I need you over here. This way, please. Thank you. You have to jump on her fucking milk bed or whatever that is. Then there's a bunch of money in the chest on top of her roof for some reason. There's like a an achievement you can get if you jump on this thing like 30 times or whatever. I've never done it because I always go off to the side like that. Do -do -do. Do, 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 do. Neil give us a lot of money for that, so <clears throat> I think I can afford to get uh, the Chaos Orb now, which is this this blue guy over here. This is Chester. I mentioned him before. Yeah, that's what I want. Thank you, Chester. sure why I can't use that. Alright. Now I'm going to go down here, because this is the next level. I don't like this level. Uh, it's very dark and spooky. The music is good, though. Welcome to the Lich Yard! Do, 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 do. I love the music in this stage. Alright, so we can piss off the ghosts, so I have to be careful. Yeah, everything in this room is a trap. So. I think that's a trap too. I'm not gonna be able to tell unless this guy decides to come over here so I can bounce on his head. There we go. Oh hey, there is money in here. Cool. Oh, there's a, a dude. He's running another way because his head's off. Interesting. Hey, right, checkpoint. Smash it. Not taking checkpoints in this level is actually really stupid, so. Alright, I need this guy to respawn so that I can shovel jump up here. Fuck you. Eh. The music in this game is excellent, by the way. gonna damage boost right past you. I know I'm not, because you give me a lot of money. Wait a minute. Okay, I know there's a secret behind one of these. I think it's the other guy. Oh, that was not smart. So I can't shovel drop these guys when they're electric, so I have to be careful. Alright, this is the part that I was saying I hate. Alright, 
ghosty. Come over here. Oh, okay. I see how it is. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. There it is. Alright, uh, this secret sucks. Eh. Okay, got it. Fuck off, ghost man. Alright, I did want to have this checkpoint for, um, caution's sake when I went down there, because that is a death. But, uh, I did break it, so it counts. You can do that, come up here. There's like no forebearing to know if you're gonna die there or not. So it's really, you gotta be careful. See how this is. Oh. So the gimmick of this room is I kind of have to push this this head guy over here so that I can uh, come down here. Man, I'm gonna love playing a Shovel Knight and Rivals so much. I love him. He's so cool. Hey, turkey time. Can I even... Okay, I gotta test if I can go over there, because it looks like I can. Yeah. Eh. Aha! Alright, this is where you get the phase locket. Alright. What's up, Chester? Gimme. This item is why I go to this area first. It basically it makes you invulnerable, so very fun. I want to take it with me. Oh my god, I almost got knocked into the pit by the knockback. Oh, 
Though this room sucks. Surprised that skeleton hasn't come to life yet. Okay, also, I think there's a secret here. I want to say. It looks conspicuous. I guess not. Okay. Do 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 Okay, made it. Oh my god, I almost didn't make that. I had to hit this guy with the ball. Fuck you. Alright. Uh... I'm not sure how confident I am about beating this boss on the first try, but fuck it. Easy money. Let's go. Hello, Spectre Knight. This is no place for the living mortal. You shall be summoned when it is your time. And everyone has a time as we saw with your beloved shield knight. Lies! I won't believe such talk from phantoms. Your very existence is a vile deception. <laughs> the enchantress is just full of surprises. She granted me new life. So that I may take yours. This guy's a dick. He's not a big dick, though. It's more of a patience game. Oh, he actually hit me that. This fight's very much a patience game. Just not letting him overwhelm. I just like to hang out on the left platform and wait for him to do stupid shit. Damn, I didn't get that hit. I'm taking caution strats because I don't want to die. I don't have any checkpoints. I think now, I think when he gets down to th six hits left, he starts doing dark. He like starts going all dark mode on me. Yeah, there it is. This is where I want to rush him. Get him. Got him. Hey, first try. Get wrecked. Get the point. Was that for destroying all the checkpoints? Yep. Do, 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 do. Yeah. 
need 150 gold just for digging up your uh, campfire. Why wouldn't you? We're going to do this real quick. Mm, or it's just a little stage. Basically just extra money. Oh, that was a sick kill. Dude. Yeah, it's about a, a 1200 extra. It's not bad. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, you. I'll buy this from you, and then I will give this to you, and you're going to make me food. I don't know what the fuck that was. The magicist. And you're going to increase my stuff. Thank you. And I'm going to bounce on your hoop, kitty. Boink, boink. It's the only thing in the entire game that makes that noise when you bounce on it. Alright, well, that's going to be it for this episode of Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. So, um, next time we will be heading into Pride More Keep, Layer of King Knight. This is where you would usually see people start instead of the Lich Yard. I just like doing the Lich Yard first. Because the Lich Yard is fucking cool. I like it. It's fun. So. It's it's really hard. But it's fun. Um, anyway. I'll see all you dudes in the next video. <laughs> yeah, I know. Jack's up to guys a noob sometimes. Um, but I love him. Anyway. Goodbye, everybody.